It is our very first day exploring the Hanoi city and why not start your very first day going to an area that tourists are not supposed to go. We are currently in Shi Azoi and we are doing an Airbnb experience with Kong, our guide, who will introduce you in just a moment. He is going to tell us lots of stories from the Vietnam War and help us explore this area that is not visited by tourists at all. This is the authentic Hanoi, the authentic Vietnam, right in the center of where the communists started. So let's go explore. Okay, beautiful people. We're just waiting for our guide. He asked us to meet us. It's a very non-touristy area from what I can see. Like it's just locals on the scooter going to work. I think I see him. A guy with a cap and a backpack on in Vietnam. That's very unusual. So let's go meet our guide. Yeah. How are you? I'm doing very well. This is Jacqueline. Jackie. Nice Jackie. to meet you. Nice to see you. Kong started our tour by sharing a brief view of Vietnam's recent history, including its occupation from multiple countries. France occupied Vietnam for 94 years, recognizing its independence in 1946, just one year after Japan's five-year occupation of Vietnam ended. Then, in 1955, the famous civil war began between the communist government of northern Vietnam against South Vietnam and its principal ally, the United States. This was a long and costly war ending in 1975 and leaving the people of Vietnam, the real sufferers, impoverished. But Kong was proud to share how Vietnam bounced back from this experience and has since rapidly grown its economic position. It's important to understand the country's recent history in order to understand the people and their way of life. Many of the soldiers of the war are still alive today. Right now we are heading into one of the oldest markets in Hanoi. This market has been here for over 70 years and it's actually a second-hand market. So it was created during the tough times that they have here in Vietnam because people basically had to sell what they owned in order to feed themselves and to keep living. So we are now going to check out a very local part of Hanoi that apparently pretty much no tourists come to. So if you want to see how people are truly living, then this is the tour to come on. Back in like 10 years ago, I lost your scooter, which uh, happens quite very often. Uh, one of my friends, he uh, lost two scooters essentially. And then you immediately jump coming to this market. Really? Right, and then you could buy it uh, yeah, and then you can buy your scooter. You have to buy like, it back? Yeah. Even though it was stolen? And even though it's yours. Wow. It used to be yours. And then if you don't make, if you don't come here, they're gonna put like break your bite apart. So if you don't buy it right away, you'll have to buy every piece individually. <laughs> yeah. And then you put it together. Yeah. <laughs> Hello guys. After spending some time interacting with the locals in the second hand market, Kong took us through an apartment building built during the communist era of the 60s to share with us how locals live here in Hanoi, Vietnam. market area so there's lots of fruits, vegetable, meat vendors, there's also like clothes and shoes and things like that. So this is still a part of the same market but just like another section and it's funny because right across the road is a supermarket. It's just so opposite. Always in between they always have like the beer hoi shop. It's sort of fresh beer. Uh -huh. And they invented this beer during the beer, during the uh, the difficult time. Oh if you this means fresh beer. Yeah. And it's very light. Only one or two percent of alcohol, so it's very rare light. And uh, even the glass itself is from recycled glass. That's why you see the bubbles inside. And, uh, it's really cheap actually. Here I think it's uh, 10,000, wow. 40 cents. So it's one of the cheapest beers in the world. Wow, 40 cents. 
nhá ờ nhưng mà thôi lúc nào pháp mới đấu cơ Perfect. Oh, so good. It's refreshing. It's not too heavy on the gas. <laughs> Got a bit of the L tape. And it's 40 cents. That's amazing. Oh, this is good. It is good. It's very, like, very beery. Come on! <laughs> they were so nice. I'll be the I'll be the <laughs> we were wrong. The beers are not 10,000, they were 8,000 dong. Yeah. They gave me change. It's uh, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> I think this is the happiest street we've been to. All the ladies selling vegetables here have all just openly said hello, even though we weren't filming, and then I filmed them to say hello. They were a little bit more shy once I started filming. <laughs> Actually, we felt very welcome. Yeah. Super welcome. Everyone's been really friendly. I think also it has a lot to do with that we're with a Vietnamese person. We finished our tour on the famed train street of Hanoi, where Kong showed us to a more local spot that wasn't filled with tourists, but it wasn't what we we're expecting. You'll see why shortly. And uh, by the way, you have this uh, idea that uh, after the war, you have a lot of people um, came to the city, and, and those were employed by the railway company. That's why they were given this uh, business of lamps up here. But uh, it violates the um, safety concerns, so that's why they don't have the favor. But uh, they just simply build the house over here. And this one was actually, um, they put a lot of rubbish on the train track. Also a little bit dangerous area. But since it's getting really famous for tourists, so now it's a lot of flowers, yeah. and chairs, and <laughs> if you can cafe shop. Uh, and then a lot of guests just coming here to wait for this train. Yes. Right. So I think it's, uh, it's just an interesting idea. I normally take Ciao. Ciao. Here. So we've just made it to the very famous, I'm sure you've heard of it, train street here in Hanoi. And uh, the coffee shops that are along the train street were actually made illegal and they were all supposed to be shut down. But there are still a few remaining like this one because it's not really policed that much and it's insanity because these chairs are literally on the train tracks. So we just wanted to give a big thanks to Kong for the tour. We'll give all the links below as to how you can get in touch with him. If you're looking for a true experience of Hanoi, feel free to, to reach out and he'll definitely give you an amazing experience and amazing time here. It's been such a nice way to see Hanoi from like a real local perspective uh, before we jump into all the touristy things that I'm sure we will also do in the next coming days. But to see the authentic way of life here and learn about the history, it's amazing. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you very much. Yeah. Even though our tour has finished with Kong and it was amazing, because he's brought us to the train street, we're actually gonna sit here, enjoy a beautiful mango smoothie and wait for the train. And uh, this particular area that we are, we're just outside of the old quarter like one block away from it and there's no tourists on this area so i think we're going to be able to get a really great video slash photo of this because there's literally no one here it's amazing just locals It's 
Holy shit. <laughs> that was terrifying. That's so yeah. scary. Oh, yeah. I doubt me. Oh, my God. I thought there might be more space, but oh, it's yeah. very scary. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. If you want to do something, get your adrenaline pumping, you want to fear for your Holy life, shit. then do this. This oh my typical God. Southeast Asian or Asian safety regulation. Oh One my of those God. many things out of the window here. Well, what a way to end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not yet subscribed and you enjoyed this video, please do hit that subscribe button because it really supports our channel and it means so much to us. Also, give us a thumbs up for risking our lives for you guys. Yeah, and if Unintentionally, you, but still. And if you want to really go see Hanoi, go check on that link with Kong. Absolutely. Really amazing tour. Highly recommend it. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, Bye. guys. It is out. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear anything. Glad I heard something, but I think I got too excited. Oh. Go on there? Yeah. Go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh. Ye